Details now on a chase through Broward County yesterday. This morning, the man behind the wheel of the car went before a judge to hear the charges against him. CBS 4's Ted Scouten covered that yesterday, that wild scene. He's in Fort Lauderdale right now with more. Ted? Yeah, Elliot, we watched that whole thing unfold yesterday. That man was in court today. Not only is he facing charges for that dangerous chase, but it turns out he is also wanted for attempted murder on a completely different case. Hey, how fast were you driving? He smirked last night when he was booked into jail, but this morning, that smirk was gone as he faced a judge. One of the witnesses identified Mr. Henley from a uh, uh, photo lineup. Wearing jail clothes, Leonard Henley is told he'll have a bond hearing in the afternoon. He's accused of leading police on a high-speed, dangerous chase from Fort Lauderdale to Pompano Beach. It began about 3.45 Wednesday afternoon, just at the beginning of rush hour. We saw his car speeding along the breakdown lane on I-95 before exiting on the grass at Atlantic. During the chase, he's accused of driving recklessly through neighborhoods, going the wrong way in traffic, and blowing through lights at busy intersections. I just saw someone on um, the police were flying from that way to this way and took off that way. It ended on Northwest 6th Street and 27th Avenue in Pompano Beach. The door flew open as the car coasted to a stop and a BSO deputy rammed it, keeping the driver inside. With guns drawn, Henley stays put until a deputy pulls him out from the passenger side door, getting him on the ground. Was there any evidence? Evidence in the car? Police were actually after the car. Investigators in Fort Pierce want to know if there's evidence in there from a murder that happened last month. Why Henley was in the car is still a mystery. But it turns out he's a wanted man, too. There was a warrant out for his arrest by BSO. In it, he's known as Bo Jangles. He's accused of attempted murder. Investigators say he shot a man in May. And this afternoon, the detective from that case will be in court. He will be testifying during the bond hearing, which gets underway at 1.30. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.